Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reorganizing my bookshelf. So I have this cube shelf right here and then I also have a Billy bookshelf from Ikea over there. I have to reorganize everything basically because I have a bunch of supplies from my small business that I need to put away. So I'm going to try my best to clear out a few cubes um, for my supplies. I'm definitely going to have to put books behind books, but it's okay. We're going to try our best to make it work. I'm going to try and organize it. I also have, um, I got inspired by my friend on Instagram who told herself that she has to read 20 books before she can buy a new book. So I made my own stack because my physical TBR was just getting ridiculous at this point. So these are the books that I am going to read before I allow myself to buy some books. If anything, this is just going to make me want to read faster because when I'm sad, I just want to buy books. So we'll see how that goes. Wish me luck. And I also can't have my fan on while I do this because it's going to be too loud. And I live in Southern California and I'm, I can't do this. <laughs> I first have to like clean out the cubes I think so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna re put them together with you guys I think that should be the plan I put the my hardback Harry Potters in the back here I have um, the Harry Potter set where you can see Hogwarts on the spine on my shelves over here so I don't need to display these um, even though they're stunning because I got special edition dust jackets, but they're not They're not even in order But here's that and then I'm going to put Ellie's shelf back together And I'll show you which books I put in there. So for Ellie's shelf I have um <clears throat> where is my other one anyways okay i'm this is weird i have the english prep series um well two of them oh i'm so dumb i tried putting my favorite books on my nightstand and i put the third one over there i'm so dumb and then I haven't read this yet, but I have The Reluctant Bride by Monica Murphy. Basically, these are all books that remind me of Ellie from Ellie's Library on Instagram and YouTube. Then I have The Fine Print and Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher because Lauren Asher is her fave. Um, and then we got things we never got over which i bought because of her and then magnolia parks i just read this last month absolutely obsessed this is ellie's favorite series ever um so i have that and then i have things i wanted to say but never did and a million kisses in your lifetime by monica murphy this book is probably one of my favorites of the year. Um, I'm going to go get the third book. Here we go. This is the third book in the English Prep series, which is my favorite. I love Eric so much. And then, yeah. I mean, I guess it's kind of annoying that you could see Harry Potter peeking through, but... Oh, I forgot to turn my fan off. Sorry, I had it on when I was clearing the shelves, so. I don't know what books I'm going to put behind this. I have some, like, book of the month books that I think I'll put behind there. I have The Collective. I do want to read these books, but they're just going to go back here. Um, Everything We Didn't Say. These are, like, thriller vibes. The Book of Cold Cases, and then Half Sick of Shadows. I think this is a King Arthur retelling, and 
fun fact about me, I'm obsessed with anything Arthurian. So I got that. And then I also have this book I could put in here. Oh. I have Darling Girl, which is a Peter Pan retelling. I haven't read it. Sorry, I keep doing a British accent. So I'm going to put the bride test and the heart principle back here. The kiss quotient is in my 22 book stack. You'll definitely see that stack behind there, but oh well. Okay, and then I'm gonna put Tricex Venom and Love in Other Words. I could probably fit another book back there. Oh. I'm going to put The Infinity Between Us back here because it's a little i just read that and it was super cute then i'm going to be doing my penelope douglas books in the front so i have birthday girl corrupt and hideaway i've read birthday girl and corrupt but i haven't continued with what's that series called devil's night that's it and then I have um, these Penelope Douglas so I have Falls Boys which I can't wait to get to that and then I have Bully Rival and Until You I don't know which is the order I think Until You is second but please I okay so I bought until you and rival off of pingo books which is a used book app um and until you is not the right height it's very infuriating okay so then we have colleen hoover i hope she fits ugly love november 9 it ends with us reminders of him which is my favorite colleen hoover book then I have Heartbones, which I really want to read. This is the only Colleen Hoover book that I own that I haven't read yet. And then we have Verity. It's like a glove, kind of. So I'm going to put another book stack on the back here. Um, I'm going to do When You Come Back to Me and Hard to Hold. I haven't read these. Um, then I'm going to do this series, um, the Filthy Rich American series. I have read the first book, then the publisher sent me the rest, but I haven't read them. I wasn't sure if they were going to be my cup of tea. I don't even know if these are the right order. Um, and then I'm going to do <clears throat> the one for me. I haven't read it. Um, then I have Dangerous Temptation, Falling Too Far. Then I got this arc, Two Truths and a Lie, and Bad Crush. I've read this one and I really, really liked it. It's a hockey romance. I am a sucker for a good sports college romance. Okay. I put these on the side. Cute. Okay. And then I'm not even reorganizing these shelves other than adding books to the back. But I have my special edition of Song of Achilles. Which is one of my favorite books. Um, then I have Normal People, The Script, which is, again, one of my favorite books. But this is um, from the show. It's the script. Um, then I have this little Sally Rooney short story to complete my Sally Rooney collection. Um, so then I have conversation with friends. Normal people is staying by my bedside. I'll probably just put this back here. Um, 
I just, oh, Beautiful World Where Are You is on my 22 books to read before buying a book. And then I have Song of Achilles, but I feel like I should put this back here since it's a second copy. And then we have some Taylor Jenkins Read. I have Malibu Rising. I have Daisy Johnson the Six. Love that book so much. And then I have my Emily Henry. Oh, excuse you. My Emily Henry. Please, I'm trying to speak. Then I have my Emily Henry Universe book. So I have Book Lovers, People We Meet on Vacation, and Beach Read, a must. And then I have One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. Um, Red, White, and Royal Blue is one of my favorite books ever. I've read it nine times and that's staying by my nightstand along with Normal People. Now what do I want here? Oh, I also have this Taylor Jenkins read, One True Loves. They're not the same height. Um, do I want to add the bodyguard here? You know what? I'm going to add the bodyguard here. Just because I read it this month and I really liked it. So then I'll have room for another little Twisted Lies bit here. Perfect. I'm so sorry. I feel like I've been talking to my bookshelf and not you guys. So for the back of the shelf, I'm going to put after and after we collided, lol. Um, I have Crown of Midnight. This is the only Throne of Gra Glass book I have in paperback. So that's just going to go back here because she don't fit anywhere else. I have My Dark Vanessa that I started a while ago. Um... But she was depressing because it's about a very heavy topic. Um, and then I have Circe by Madeline Miller. I read this one already. But I don't think I'm going to need to grab it anytime soon. Then I have Until Friday Night and Under the Lights um, by Abby Glines. I'll put those like this. Then I have The Deal Maker by Jessica Peterson. Mm, and then I have this poetry collection from a YouTuber or a booktuber who I love dearly. So I bought it to support her um, and it was really good. Oh, you know what's going to go back here? Light Lark. My Ark of Light Lark. She going back there. Um, the Summer of Broken Rule and Every Summer After. I haven't read either of them. We are going with my favorite, favorite, favorite Six of Crows and this stunning dust jacket that I bought for it. And where's Crooked Kingdom? Look at my babies. And then on the back, Six of Crows, Normal People, and red white and royal blue is like my unofficial trio and then i have the mindfuck series love kind of want to reread gives off fall vibes to me um and then i have the good girl's guide to murder series i don't know if it has an actual series name but absolutely love these books i still have to read the last one i just didn't want it to end i love them so much and then Oh, I know what I wanted to put here. Excuse you. The in I was going to say The Inheritance Game. That's next. Um, the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I absolutely love this story so, so much. That's going there. And then lastly, I'm going to put The Inheritance Game. Um, and then I have... I'm currently rereading the inheritance game so it's on my nightstand then I have the second one which is the Hawthorne legacy and then the final gambit comes out um, next week so that's gonna go there too. Just the journals I do think I have some books back there but 
honestly this journal shelf isn't gonna change so we're just gonna keep it as is tears of tess a chance of us going back there um and then i have the last eligible billionaire always you lessons in sin um and they also sent me beyond my darkness so those are going back here what we may be I'm just gonna throw that back there then i have get a life chloe brown which apparently i've started i don't remember anything I have The Book Thief, which I haven't read yet. I have to fix that soon. None Shall Sleep, which I'll probably try to read this fall. The Gracier. And Boyfriend Material. I have A Thousand Boy Kisses. I have a show for two, which I bought this book purely based on TikTok because the author posted that it's based on when Tom Holland went to her school undercover when he was getting ready to film Spider-Man Homecoming. So that was a must buy. Then I have Ivy by Will and Nash, which I think is a private school romance. So I'm gonna need to read that immediately. Um, then I have Then I have the Ravenhood series, Flock, Exodus, and the Finish Line. I'm going to put the Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy by Jenny Han in this little cube. And then I'm going to put Wicked Princess and Broken Kingdom by Ashley Jade, which is the third and fourth book in the Royal Hearts Academy series love this series so much i just don't own the first two because i read them on my kindle and then i'm gonna put funny you should ask here i'm just going to put the hardback i have for the summer i turned pretty which is the movie edition on this little cube there we go and then i'm going to take all the books out from here and put them on my shelves and then i have this cube free because i have um a whole bin of phone cases that needs to go in there so we're gonna try and make that work so now i have to clean off these bookshelves and reorganize them i think i'm just going to reorganize them in a little time lapse and then I'll show you guys at the end because it's too much to film and talk. So at the top of my cubes, I have my 22 books that I want to read. Um, and these were not part of that stack, but I bought them before um, I start, really start this band because I keep seeing those damn aesthetic videos on TikTok and I need to read them. Um, the covers are giving One Tree Hill intro. Okay, well first, let me move these. Reading journal. And then I'm going to give you a little overview. I have some mixed genres here. So I got to read all of these before I buy new books. 
and then I just annotated this for Ellie and then I'm annotating these two English prep books for two of my friends and then I have this little section with my 2521 CD, my cassette tape, my cassette player, my sign Taylor Swift. Um, these are just some classics. So I have um, Jurassic Park, Anne of Green Gables, The Story of King Arthur and His Knights. I was not joking around when I said I love anything Arthurian. A very, very old copy of Alice in Wonderland. Little Women, Peter Pan, another copy of Peter Pan, and then two seats. So here we have some of my all-time faves. I already told you all the things I put on this shelf, but here's just an overview. And then below I have notebooks and journaling paper. And then here's an overview of this shelf. My Penelope Douglas and Colleen Hoover. My Ellie's Library shelf. And then here we have some shop stuff, some button makers. Then I have phone cases. And then this shelf, which is kind of cute. The top shelf of my Billy Book shelf. The lighting is raunchy here. So I have the Selection Series, Shadow and Bone Trilogy. Another copy of Water Runs Red, Withering Heights, Pride and Prejudice. Every Exquisite Thing by Matthew Quick, which is one of my favorite underrated books. Girl Made of Stars, The Hate You Give. And then we have my mass market paperback section here. Let it focus. So we have my Outlander books, The Deal in Mass Market Paperback, To Kill a Mockingbird. The second Bridgerton book, which was Anthony's. And then my Game of Thrones books. And then my three Game of Thrones Funko Pops, Sansa on the throne where she should be. And then we have The Perks of Being a Wallflower, Anna Green Gables, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, and The Great Gatsby. This shelf, which is so sorry for the glare, the Addicted Slash Callaway Sisters series, the Bad Rep Duet. And then the Like Us books that I own. And then we have all of the off-campus Briar U books. And then above it I have some um, Callaway prints that I want to hang up in my room. Look at them. I'm obsessed. And then down here we have this shelf. So I have this Pims mug that I got from Avengers Campus in Disneyland and I have like all of my bookmarks that I make on my shop for like samples and stuff. And then I have my Harry Potter section. I have all the young dudes, the Atlas Six. And then I have the Infernal Devices trilogy, my Hunger Games, then my V.E. Swab section, Darker Shade of Magic, The Savage Song, and then the City of Ghosts books. I don't know what the name of this trilogy is. Um, and then I have The Wicked King and Queen of Nothing, this shelf. I have my Heartstopper books, my hockey graphic novel, Check Please, the Percy Jackson series, which I need to read, the Rest of the Shatter Me series, and then my Mariana Zapata books, my Adam Silvera books, Forbidden, which I loved that book when I read it, but it is about a taboo topic. Um, Never Ever, The Girl in 6E, It, The Guinevere, Deception, and Once and Future King, which are both Arthurian retellings, or a sense in a trend. And we have Where the Crawdads Sing, Ace of Spades, and then another copy of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue this shelf which is basically all my tall fantasy books so we have the hose and midnight sun by stephanie meyer then we have my arc copy of the fifth wave which shout out to whoever i got that from on twitter you're a real one my fifth anniversary of the fifth wave then my original fifth wave the infinite sea and the last star then my sarah j mass cora thorns and roses books my King of Scars, 
some shadow hunter books and then on the bottom shelf we have my narnia books the throne of glass series and crescent city and this the uh spider-man into the spider-verse the art of movie <laughs> the book that has all the art of the movie in it and yeah that's it for the tour yes that is the end of the tour and organization she is organized hopefully she stays that way i'm in the middle of deep cleaning my whole room so i'm gonna try and make it stay this neat but i hope you enjoyed this video and see you on my next one bye